Um, I think as a coach, the the driving force that keeps me involved is is my passion for what I do and the love of the industry and also um, of the riders and their determination. So seeing somebody come in that. Um, you know whether they have a disability or not that has a goal and watching them and helping them reach their goals by going through the process and the stepping stones to get there um, is probably what keeps me going I mean it's in in the horse industry you work hard there's a lot of um, long hours and you know it is it's hard work and unless you love it you don't last and I love what I do and I love my riders That's. I think that's what keeps me in it. Um, I think that's probably going to be her greatest strength is her ability to focus. Um, her ability to, to work at a task, her determination to get it right and uh, to continue working on it even when it's not going well. She doesn't just give up. And I think that is going to be one of the greatest strengths, especially later on when she does start competing more, um, going to international competitions more. Her ability as a rider and her ability to feel um, what a horse is doing underneath her, um, I think as a result of her riding experience before her injury, is going to be a great asset because she's go she already has that feel. Now she just has to um, learn how to use it in a different way without being able to use her legs. She's learning to ride in a totally different way, but she's had the opportunity beforehand to know what it feels like. And that, so that is going to help her in uh, when she's training and when she's learning new things, it's gonna help her. itself but the fact that you're not riding with familiar your horse. So that's something that's a little bit different in um, these competitions and, and when you're working towards the Paralympics and uh, international competitions is you often are riding borrowed horses and that's something that it takes a long time to develop a feel and an ability to to be able to ride a horse that's very different in a short amount of time and be able to do it well. And I think that that's one of the strengths that Loren has is her ability to get a feel for a horse very quickly. an incredible amount of money to not only go to international competitions and national competitions but also um, you know to pay your entry fees to get you there your flights all of that so that's a, a huge obstacle for a lot of riders um, uh, a lot of people you know they need support people coaches um, you know there's just an awful lot for the competition itself, but there's also the leading up to taking lessons on a regular basis with certified coaches. Um, you know, having clinicians come in, making sure that adaptive equipment and saddles are, are, are you know, in good shape and, and available. Uh, those are all things that come into competing.
competing. There's so many variables and, and things that you need to look at. And then, you know, there, on, a, on a different level, when you do go to competition, a lot of the competitions are borrowed horse competitions where you go in and there's a horse pool, um, a selection process takes place, and so you get a horse that you're not familiar with and you have uh, a week or three or four days to ride and get to know this horse, learn how to communicate effectively with the horse, um, and, and then go in and show it, hopefully successfully. And, When I first met Loren, uh, I had a, a, it was like a gut feeling. Um, I met her, talked with her briefly, and thought, you know, just based on some of her experience in the horse industry before, that, you know, and her determination, I think, was the biggest thing. I thought that this was somebody who could go somewhere, who could really um, make it and reach their goals. She has an excellent ability to focus. Um, she knows what she wants and she's not afraid to work hard. And I must tell you that from the day I broke my back, I said I never ever wanted to ride again. It just wasn't going to be the same. I was down at the barn watching my trainer Sandy Diamond get a riding lesson to a young girl. And I couldn't help but break down and cry. So, Sandy and another person picked me up and put me on a horse. And from that extremely emotional day on, I've been back in the saddle. 